Our tale of the tape is sponsored by Dave and Buster's. Cub Swanson is four years older. He's 35. Cone Gracie, one inch taller, 5'9", but both have the same reach of 70 inches. Back inside the octagon for our co-main event, here's Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our co-main event of the evening. Three rounds, this, in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, his background, jiu-jitsu and boxing. At 5 feet 9 inches tall, he weighed in officially 145 and 1 half pounds. In five fights as a professional, he stands perfect. Five victories, no defeats, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Here is the undefeated Cron Gracie! And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner, standing 5 feet, 8 inches tall. He weighed in at the featherweight limit, 146 pounds. And in 36 veteran fights, he holds a record of 25 victories and 11 defeats. Here is the featherweight veteran from Palm Springs, California. And your referee in charge of the action is Kevin McDonald. Kevin McDonald draws the referee assignment. Cub Swanson looking to get things on track and looking for redemption against Crone Gracie. 15 years ago, they met in a Gi Jiu Jitsu match at the U.S. Open. Cub was 20, Crone just 16. And here we are in the octagon. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Dave and Busters. Crone Gracie minus 185 as the favorite in the gray. Cub Swanson plus 155 as the underdog in black. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, the real issue for Cub here is that he's, he has the ability to let his strikes fly. I've been there myself. A lot of strikers talk about it when you're taking on somebody that, that only wants to grapple, that wants to take you down, that wants to control you or submit you, obviously, like Crone does. You forget about your own striking, and you, and you become so obsessed with the fact that they're going to shoot on you, all of a sudden then they hit you in the face, then they take you down. But Cub looks good here, he's moving well, he looks sharp, he looks fast. Oh, oh. right hand. Nice right hand. And got a knee bend out of Gracie for a moment as they return right to the center. Gracie, who just kind of plops his way in, did so to Alex Caceres and look for any kind of proximity when they get close to just wrap up a neck, a hip, grab a hold of something so they can get into his world. Now this is exactly what Cub needs to do. He needs to utilize a lot of movement. Cron, obviously, is trying desperately to close the distance to get his hands on him. Beautiful body shot. Gracie comes back with a combination up top. And now on one, two there from Swanson. Cron got through with a nice jab there. You see Cubs carrying the hands low. That's just in case Cron looks to shoot. I think his style is going to look to more clinch and then work some kind of transition to the ground like that. He's done a you know, a typically trained wrestler. He's a jiu-jitsu practitioner, so the takedowns are very, very different. But a nice shot there by Cub. He's looking good here. It's a very, very nice start for Cub Swanson. And on the outside here is Crone tries to track him down. And Cub's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt as well. Oh, for sure. And he Listen. said when Crone was competing in jiu-jitsu, it wasn't like he was undefeated. He wasn't winning every single time. No, that's right. Well, he said when they actually competed against one another, the score was 3-2. That was a close you know, match. It went to a decision. It was a close match. So even on the ground, it's not like Cub can't compete. It's just, it's just foolish to go there and fight him there. That's where Crone wants to fight. You don't give him that luxury. Cub just landed a massive kick there, moving so nicely, just gliding around the octagon. Crone's getting a little frustrated. Still oh, early days. Top. Oof. Body shot from Cub. Nice body shot. For Gracie on the jiu-jitsu mat when he was competing as a black belt. Some familiar names as opponents. Gary Tonin, Benil Dariush, Gilbert Burns, and Sergio Marais among the UFC veterans that he squared off with in the world of jiu-jitsu. 
Yeah, Cub's starting to feel himself now. He's got the hands low. He's moving well. He's dancing around. The head's movement. You're moving well. Because he's landing shots. When you land shots, you get good feedback. When you start getting the good feedback, you're like, I'm having a good time here. And then when you start having fun, man, the world's your oyster. Start to the body shot that time. Oh, man, he is working that body. You know, he probably thought Kron is going to have his hands high because he's not the seasoned striker that Cub is. Probably going to have his hands high. Let's work the body. And I'll tell you what, if that was the game plan, it's genius because they are finding their mark. But as wide as I said that, Kron connected with the right hand kind of stumbled Cub a little bit. Swanson circles away from danger here as we go under a minute to go. The first of three possible. This is where Cub wants, uh, sorry, Crone wants it. He wants to get Cub pushed up against the fence so he can just get hold of him, stop him from moving around, and then once they initiate the clinch, then Crone can go to work. But Cub's footwork here is so nice. Look at that, just pivots like a like a bullfighter. A matador, should I say? Yeah, there you go. There we go. Yes, technically a bullfighter. A little damage on the bridge of the nose. With Crone Gracie. Oh! Belts outside the left eye of Cub Swanson after Gracie has found a home for some oh, shots. Man. Tips and throws a heavy body shot again. Those body shots are money. Good swing from Swanson. Gracie trying to hang in. Oh! Body kick that time from Swanson as the first round winds to a close. Second round. As soon as you land, move, okay? Cub, the key is to keep those full extensions, okay? Full extensions all the time, and move. Don't stay in one spot too long, keep moving. If you hit, if you watch, if you move into the left, punch, and then move left, and then move right, and punch. Okay, don't stay in the middle. As soon as you land, move, that's it. You're doing good, chap, you're doing really good. Keep doing that, let's go. Juke them out, baby, we're hitting our juke steps. In this Catch the all-new UFC Live each and every Friday at 5.30 Eastern, 2.30 Pacific, only on ESPN2. The weekly 30-minute show gets you primed for all the Saturday night action, as well as the latest news and information from around the sport. UFC Live, Fridays on ESPN2. Underway for the second round here between Crone Gracie and Cub Swanson. This is just the second time... In six fights now that Gracie's been to a second round. Again, he's undefeated. He submitted all of his opponents. Four of them came in the first round, one here in the second. But Swanson, exactly what he wanted to do, keep it on the feet, stay out of the clinch in danger. Yeah, I mean, as we can see, and we've said it many times, Crone's trying to get his hands on him, and he's walking forward. And, you know, he's he just kind of being predictable. If I was Crone, I'd plant my feet in the center of the octagon and let Cub come to hit. You know, and just because this so far, not saying it won't work, but so far it's not working. So you're gonna make some adjustments. You know, walking forward, trying to trying to initiate a clinch like this, it isn't working. As I said, I'm not saying it can't work, but it's not doing so far. Cubs looking really nice, countering, anticipating all the movements. Look at that, just dips out to the side, a couple of steps, turns the corner, he's back in the center of the octagon, and then it's just rinse and repeat. Oh, double body. Back to the body for Swanson. Tell you what, though, Crone is tough because he's taking a lot of body shots, a lot of punches in general. And he's not phased. He's still walking forward. He's intent on winning this fight. So here we go. Walking forward. Yep, yep. This is what he wants. Sorry, pardon me, Brendan. This is what he wanted. But look at that. Great work, Cub. Wow, loads up on the body shot that time to Swanson, but Crone keeps walking him down. Yeah, but this now is in the clinch, he tries to jump guard there and get creative. 
I respect what he's trying to do, though. He's trying to make something happen. You know, you sacrifice moves. You know, by that you sacrifice your own position in the, the hope that you can pull something off. Oh, that was a sickening body shot. And Kroll just not even show the fact that it impacted him. It's uh, he's incredibly tough. There it is again. It's now officially the longest MMA fight in the career of Crone Get Gracie. As we oh! almost enter the second half of round number two, Swanson narrowly escapes danger there. Yeah, kind of a slip there, but look at this now. Now he's going to sweep it. He's got the ankles. Look at that. Tremendous work by Crone. Crone went down. You grab both the ankles and you use your hips to drive forward. That takes your opponent off the feet. It was an interesting and a very creative attack by Kron Gracie, but Cobb was wise to it. Going to go back to swinging. Swanson head movement there. Crone able to escape the heavy damage, but not that time. And now back in the clinch with two minutes to go in round two. Swanson, still swinging from the hip here. I tell you, Swanson's got to be careful though. I mean, he's, he's doing sensationally, but, but all the time, Gracie is walking forward like a zombie, just walking through the shots. And this is what he wants. And just more and more in this round, he's finding a little bit of success in his game plan. He's actually getting to clink. They're engaging in a little bit of grappling every time. So Cubs has got to be careful. Look at this, Ma now inflicting the damage as he clinch and throw right in the center. Right there, Cook was like, you know what? I'm happy. I'm going to stand there. I'm going to unload on you. All right, Trevor Whitman, want to bring you in as well. What's your what's your take on what Michael, you are 100% correct. Uh, you, when you get tired, you start making lazy decisions. Yeah. And if this turns the other way, Cubs going to look himself in the mirror and say, why did I ever do that? Easier said than done, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Man. He's on the fast track to victory here, but completely. But you get tired, you start taking that extra breath. You're like, ah, oh, it's not too bad, touching and feeling a little bit. But all of a sudden, this fight could change real quick. And what a great fight, though! I'm telling you, I'm loving this fight. Fantastic fight! And you listen, I'm talking about Kubalik. You got to give it to Chrome because yes. he is—he's oh making it the fight. He's eating so many shots, and he's so determined to win. He's not allowing himself to really feel the effect of the blows, and he has my respect for life. One hundred percent decision and when you come in and say hey i'm gonna win this fight he has not broken a bit no he hasn't taken a back step he hasn't he hasn't he just doesn't react to the shot it's yep. crazy 100 percent can cover swanson meanwhile dealing with a cut now outside his right eye as these two are just slugged it out for 10 minutes but we get five more after this Okay. Hey. Come on, come. Hey. I need you to dig deep. I need you to move your feet. Do not stand in front of him. Do not clinch up. Okay. Take a deep breath. Hey. You got it. Take a deep breath and relax. Come on, come on. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Come on, baby. Keep it up. Hey. Go one more round, baby. Come on, suck it up. One more round. Do not extend and go with it. I know you're tired. I need you to dig deep. Okay. So come. everything just pop. One more round. Welcome you like back. into the come. corner of Cup Swanson round, here. Let's go. Your feet. One more round. Heavy action in round number two, Michael. Oh, absolutely. And this is, you know, a lot of the work is directed towards the body. Multiple shots at a time with a lot of power. Every time he connects, you hear the slap. But once again, I'll say it. Crone hasn't reacted once. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Crone Gracie has been in the corner of Nate Diaz and called the Diaz brothers a training partner. That's kind of really what got him into mixed martial arts. They brought him in to work on their jiu-jitsu years ago. He has stayed part of that Nick Diaz Academy, so you put him in a dog fight, you got to know this. he's been able to do it. You know, Cub Swanson, he's known as a fight of the night guy as well. You know, one punch can change everything. Drone connected there, but so he killed my word. Corner of Cub Swanson asking for a lot of movement, stay out of danger here. Yeah, you know, I mean, t I mean, not that Cub would ever dream of doing this, but he could just dance around now for the next five minutes and win this fight. Well, I mean, the striking numbers are identical right now, unofficially, 79 oh, no. apiece. Oh, so, yeah. which is crazy. Oh! 
Both guys exchanging hard. Uh, this is it, though. See, Crone's having success now. A lot of sweat flowing, though. Nice move, turned the corner, just pushed him off. Nice counter shots there from Swanson. Punches and punches up top. Incredible output. Nice left hand that time. Tips and throws again. Swanson staying busy, trying to find it here in the third round. Clinch once again. We'll see what Gracie does. Ooh. He tries to jump guard, slips right off. Oh, out for the up kick, as we just saw. The story of the night with the up kicks. And Gracie stays busy in that clinch, is he? Yeah, you can definitely see the Diaz influence. Very reminiscent of the way Nate Diaz fights, or the way that he fought Anthony Pettis, that's for sure. Oh, double jab and comes with a two. As they clinch once again right in the center. Oh! Three minutes to go. Wow. Excellent reaction there by Cubs watching. He was well on his way to being fully thrown. And he shifted his weight so therefore he didn't let go on his back. And once again, he's got to be careful there. He's got to disengage. Head kick blocked. The right cross wasn't. Neither was that. Back to the body for Swanson. This is an incredible fight. Oh, and look at kick. that. He's dangerous with that. So dangerous. I mean, just, just right in the center and throwing and connecting for each of these guys. Up kicks like that, they tend to be very opportunistic. But he's jumping down, he's pulling guard, he's pulling on both heels, knowing that Cubs going to step back, and then he throws the up kick. He's done it several times now. He's worked that in training camp. And Cub Swanson, I mean, shades of his performance in December of 2016 oh, yeah. against Duho Choi. Part of a streak that included three straight fights of the night. If you notice, the movement of Cub Swanson now is not the same, and I'm not surprised. This is a hard fight with the, the closing minutes, but... The game plan that Cub started with seems to have disappeared. Oh man, he's going back to the body and now up top. Look at this, my word! Just so much respect for both of these guys. Each of these fighters has God. landed more than a hundred total strikes. They've each thrown more than two hundred. This is insane. This Trevor. is absolutely insane. Hey, Trevor, come on back in. <laughs> the best fights that I have ever seen live. Cron Gracie in there stepping Cub Swanson backwards and just eating body shots. I talk about body shots all the time. You, you, you probably get bored with me saying body shots, but they're so effective. And they're not affecting him. No. It's crazy. It's like a mentality so of uh, just, I'm loving this fight. I had to jump oh. in and say I oh. love this fight. Anytime, Trevor. Anytime, my friend. <laughs> and that makes two of us. I'm telling you, that makes two of us. This, this is, is insane. To me, I would never have thought it would be this fight. Well, I would not think that Crow Gracie would be standing there and doing this. Now they're on the mat. Ooh. And Swanson's in the full guard here. 40, 40 seconds, seconds left. Does he try to stay close and ride things out on top? Or whatever he's going to do, he's got to be careful. And Crone, whatever he's going to do, he's got to be quick about it because he's got 27 seconds. Doesn't take much time if he gets what he wants. Swanson's out of danger now as they return to the feet. Final 20 seconds. Slugging away. Absolutely epic fight. Both of these men just in tip-top condition. The pace of this has just been incredible. Well, 15 oh. years later, Swanson and Gracie back on the same proving grounds final seconds here a phenomenal display for these two featherweights it and now it's time for a handshake and an embrace it doesn't get much better than that all out action from the opening bell unbelievable amount of strikes non-stop action body shots oh pure excitement Swanson on the mat recovering after, man, heavy output. Yeah, that's some of the work from Cron Gracie. You forget about that. I mean, he landed a lot of shots, but Cub Swanson was just, he just punished the body, took it upstairs. But he ate a lot as well. I mean, look at that in the slow-mo. You really get to see.
as we watch was Ramsey, but they're so fast in real time. You didn't notice a lot of the work that Krohn was doing. Well, Cub Swanson looking for a win. So is Krohn Gracie as he looks to stay undefeated. The official decision next. UFC Fight Night is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. A lovely weekend for fights here in the Cigar City of Tampa, Florida. As we welcome you back inside Amelie Arena. And now for the uh, fight decision brought to you by DAV, keeping the promise to America's veterans. And for that, here's Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score it 30-27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Cub Swanson! I'm here with your winner, Cub Swanson. Cub, I think I would speak on behalf of everybody in this arena and all around the world when I say that that was an incredible fight, my friend. This is a silly question, but how are you feeling? Well, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, man, it takes two to put on a great fight. and You know, I, uh, my hat's off to him. He stood and tried to bang with me the whole time. I got to give him that props today. I mean, you know, there was a little bit of talk before the fight, but man, I got so much respect for the Gracie family and what they did for this sport. It seemed that part of the game plan coming in was the body shots, and you hit him with so many, with so much power, but he never reacted once. Talk about that. Yeah, well, I was laughing to myself because I was like, man, he does all that breathing. We'll see how it works when he does the, when I hit him with some body shots, try to tear a hole through him, and he took it like a champ. I was like, hey, those are supposed to start kicking in by now. What's going on? <laughs> Listen, it's no secret that you've had some tough fights recently. How good does it feel to be standing back here as a winner? <laughs> Can't even answer. <laughs> That's how much. Well, everyone here is really, really proud of it. It was an amazing performance. You and Crone Gracie, absolute respect. Your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Cub Swanson. I mean, look at the emotion. I love you. My kids, Royal St. King, of the home. Love you guys. His first win as a father. And his wife, Kenda, in the front row here tonight to help celebrate. But a huge result for Cub Swanson, who says that 35 feels as good as he's ever.